Hello, I'm Lenny and today I'd like to talk about progress bars. I have added progress bars into my game and the way it works is uh, when I trigger certain actions, a progress bar appears. Yay! Um, it's actually not that easy as it seems. Uh, I have also added a new feature. <laughs> well, a new feature. Well, well, when I move, while some action is being done, um, it stops. This way, I'm gonna prevent the player from just triggering the action and then moving around. Um, also, when you're, when you're moving and when you try to interact with an object, uh, the character stops as well. When the action is finished, the, the result is well resolved and in this case um, a stone is dropped on the ground all right uh, how this works and i'm gonna use ms paint to show you let's pick a pencil all right um let's see fred huh. triggers an action that's an action like clicking on a tree. What happens next? Um, the action isn't resolved right away. It just checks if uh, progress bar is currently present and if it's not, that's nothing rude, it's just the resolution of the if. Um, check. BB. Uh, if it's null, it starts the progress bar. That's double L, not M. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrible at drawing, but I love to draw. If the progress bar isn't null, that means it's running. It checks if the progress bar is finished. And not cancelled. Wow. I really love drawing. Um, if this, well, if um, this occurs, the action is resolved. Now the reason there's finished and cancelled boolean in it is pretty simple. Finished means that the progress bar, which is triggered by Fred's action, and started by well this resolution is kind of ticking on itself. It's uh, it has a Java X Java X uh, swing timer on it. You can use uh, timer or thread. It doesn't really matter. Timer is easier, at least for me, and faster. I was trying to go for the fastest uh, solution. It's. Uh, Ticking and checking while well, increasing the progress. That's the progress you can see on your screen when the oh, the progress bar is being filled. Uh, when it finishes, it switches the boolean is finished to true, and then well, it can like finish the action. There, I'm missing O here. Never mind. But if Fred moves while the um, that's an M by by the way, uh, while the progress bar is ticking, that means while the progress bar is being filled up, it cancels the progress bar. Well, it sets the boolean to cancel. 
um, cancel it to true. And then in the code, if it detects 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 that uh, progress bar is cancelled, it uh, kind of sets it up for garbage collection. This way the progress bar disappears and this is triggered even before any movement is resolved. So it's like Fred is standing there, he wants to move let's say up and before he actually moves the progress bar already disappears when you press the W button. Uh, so the game doesn't seem laggy. Uh, if it will disappear afterwards it would kind of seem laggy. I've tried both options. I hope this little drawing <laughs> kind of helps if you're facing similar problem. Uh, usually people use threads to uh, keep progress bars. It's entirely up to you. I liked uh, timer as it was simple and easy. Oh, I forgot one more thing. The action resolution which happens here is kinda more difficult. If Fred triggers an action, he can start the timer. That's the that's the first part. And uh, this saves the action Fred triggered and afterwards it's uh, finished. It triggers the action again the same action, well, yeah, it, it triggers the same action and it goes, well, it, it goes back to this, um, to this thing and checks again and then if it's finished and is not cancelled, it triggers the action, well, finishes the actual action, actual action, really? Yeah, I hope this confused you as much as I tried and... <laughs> Uh, see you in the next one.